Our women's basketball weekly update. The head coach Aaron Johnston with the second half of Summit League play off and running now, of course, and uh, two road wins. Anytime you go on the road and get a W, in this case, two, a lot to be happy about. Yeah, I feel really good about the weekend. Both places are difficult places to play. The teams always play well there. We've had some really tough games over the years in both of those places. Uh, so it really started with us at Western Illinois. You know, I thought our team in preparation for that week had a really good week of you know execution things but also just kind of resetting a little bit mentally after a couple of games that didn't go offensively at least the way that we wanted and uh, a lot of credit to our, our captains our seniors Tylee another junior there uh, they really did a good job I think with the team of just talking about where we want to be what's important uh, and sometimes those you know kind of resets mentally are just as important as anything you can do on the court in practice so uh, it really showed up well we played great in the first few minutes of that Western Illinois game offensively and defensively and you can see the team was really supporting each other and just had gotten everything kind of uh, wiped away and, and started off with a clean slate mentally and played great this weekend. Yeah, and as we had discussed going in, two different styles you're going to see, and you won these games two different ways because you started so strong in Macomb against Western Illinois. Oral Roberts got off to the good start in Tulsa, but then you battled through adversity and came away with a nice win there as well. Yeah, you know, I think for a long stretch there, we depended on a couple positions to score a lot for us. And if those positions didn't score, we weren't probably ready to step up in other ways. But if you look at both of those games, you know, we had different people step up each each game, and, and that's important to see. I thought Tori moving into the starting lineup was really good for us at, at Western Illinois. Just having her length in there not only changes things at her position, moves Tylee to a different position and just gives us a different kind of feel. We still got great minutes from our bench. Sydney Stapleton and Lindsey Thunick played great in that game coming in for us. Uh, so that was, you know, a good mix up for us. But we rebounded the ball really well against Macomb or against Western Illinois and Macomb. We, we, we defended really well, made a lot of shots, and, and that's that's been our recipe here. And in Summit League play, two of the top five field goal percentages in the league, and as we've talked about, it's post-dominant with Burkhardt and Boltzma. Yeah, those two have been fantastic, you know, and we've gotten to the point where we can play them together now, too. A lot of games are maybe in for one or the other, uh, but when they play together, that's a whole different dynamic for teams to try and defend, especially when teams are playing us, uh, you know, out of zone where we can take advantage of that, that matchup. So, um, and they can do that because they've both defended well. You know, they're not just scoring around the basket. They're getting out and having to defend the other position as well. And I uh, just couldn't be happier for certainly Peyton in the year she's having. Uh, but again, you come back to where Megan's at and you know sometimes someone just catches a little fire has that confidence going for a couple weeks and then but she's really sustained I think a high level of play and when she's on the floor she makes a, a big difference for us and I'd be remiss if I didn't also add in Tegan Larson to this conversation who played very well on this trip yeah we need Tegan to kind of be in that place every game and she had you know double figures in scoring both games um, she had I think 14 rebounds against Oral Roberts uh, we were able to run some things through her so I think we want her with that mindset you know she's not a a complimentary player. She needs to go out there and assert the things that she can do well. And she scored in different ways around the basket, post ups, penetration, she made jump shots, uh, all the things that we'd like to see her do that put pressure on the other team. Takes a lot of pressure off of, you know, really Peyton inside and even Megan. Um, but Sydney Stapleton was also a big part of our offense. She was in double figures in both of those games. She's really becoming a fantastic, you know, consistent three point shooter for us, getting more confident putting the ball on the floor and going to the basket. Uh, Riley, I think, had a good Good weekend really took care of the ball and was a, a good presence for us so you know everybody really stepped up and they deserve a lot of credit for that all right one game this week it's on Saturday it's part of a stretch here in February as we come down towards the end of the year where four out of six will be at home and I know we talk about it time and again but I just think it's worth revisiting Frost Arena and the fan base especially for these double headers it's just so special to play games in Frost yeah it is it's a wonderful facility people are right on top of the court I believe Saturday is the Pork Classic, so you have a chance to come and get a little bit of, of good food before the game, one of the great kind of traditions here at Frost, um, and see two games. And, and to watch both teams, you know, both teams are playing a fun style right now. Uh, both teams are doing it with a lot of new faces from your traditional last couple of years. Uh, there's just a good energy around, you know, both programs, and, and people that love watching good basketball will have a, a great day on Saturday and also get a chance to, to fill their stomachs before the game. It is indeed the Pork Classic, so after you pig out, you get to watch the Jackrabbit men and women against Omaha. This matchup against Omaha handled them down there, but the second time around, it's always a little different. It is. 
you know, they're very good defensively. They're doing a good job of limiting every team, not just us, but every team's strengths, you know, and they've always had good plans defensively. You know, offensively, I think they're trying to find their footing a little bit, so we'll have to have a good plan there and not let them get going and create some, some confidence. But I just like where our team is at. Uh, we'll use this week with only one game to do two things. We'll get ready for UNO, but it also gives us a chance to, to work on some things that we haven't used as much lately uh, and tweak some things. So I really like these, you know, once in a while single game weeks in the middle of the season, not just because you get a little bit of rest, but I do think it gives you a chance to go back and, and add and, and improve and, and find some ways that you can create some new angles. So uh, we'll make the best of it, but we have some good momentum from this past weekend and definitely want to keep it going at home on Saturday.